Hey guys, it's Sarah Taylor. This is an 11 by 14 commission called Gray Space. And it's a customer that had bought Northbound and she wanted something to complement that painting and liked the paintings Lupin and Lupin II that were part of my Art Spirit Gallery collection. So it's a very, very similar color palette. It's actually just about the same as those two paintings. Um, so you could refer there for a, a list of colors, um, just for the sake of being repetitive. Um, and at the end of this video, I'm going to do a small tutorial on how I test my paints for the cloud over effect that I've been asked about. Um, I didn't really necessarily mean to coin it that, but that's just kind of what I kept calling it in my head because I was using a cloud mixture over top um, a stretched painting. So cloud over is kind of what came to my mind. And yeah, this, um, in case you don't know, you know, the cloud mix was something that Melly D discovered years ago. And I'm definitely using it, uh, it's a little different formula, I'm using it in a, little, in a different way. Um, as artists do, we, we borrow, we create, we um, make it our own. And uh, yeah, so stick around after this, I'll, I'll go through kind of a few great ways to test paints and to get the effects that, that you might be looking for. Okay, thanks, have a great day.
Okay guys, so stick around if you want to learn a little bit more about the cloud over. Um, all the, and I do this all the time. Um, before I, you know, if I have a new batch of base coat that I want to try, um, if I have a different type of paint that I want to kind of see what it's going to do. Uh, this is two different colors of base coat. Um, and this is my satin enamel kind of base coat. The darker one I was just kind of curious about. Um, I haven't really used it yet, so. I just put a couple blobs down, puddles down, stretched them out a little bit. And then, um, so the three jars of paint on the on the right side of your screen. That's a, at the bottom, it's a DecoArt 24 karat gold. And then that's the pink and the gray cloud mix that I use all the time. And you could just do white. Um, I just find that either gray, I, you know, pink is such an interesting color, but so I'm just running some lines of this over my base coat to see how it does. And what is in those is interesting. So it kind of started with just a, a regular satin latex house paint um, that was watered down. I had some Liquitex pouring medium, some GAC 800. And if you don't know those things, those ingredients, they don't really make the effect, but they help bind the paints together because they're so thin. They help, um, they help it so it doesn't crack and graze as it dries. Um, so this is a great way to just kind of test your paints uh, and see what they're gonna do when you lay them over the top of your, of your base pour, of the, you know, the paint that you already have down on your canvas. So yeah, it started with kind of a satin house paint, some Floetrol, uh, the GAC, the Liquitex, and then I, I kind of slowly added in um, DecoArt satin enamel. And the thing with DecoArt satin enamel is if you use too much of it, it's going to kind of overreact. And if there's too much of it in there, it's also going to get a little grainy. So. I kind of balanced it between the deco art satin enamel and then also just some like bare brand from Home Depot white satin enamel paint. And um, and then what you saw me do down at the bottom, I put a little bit of Modern Masters paint down and swiped it with my palette knife. And that's just kind of like, hmm, what's this going to do when I stretch it out? Because if you swipe it, then you'll kind of know what it's going to do. And you can see those cloudy effects. And it's just so, you know, it's such a nice way to embellish and enhance and work with uh, painting. So I hope this helps and take great, great care, you guys. Thank you for joining me. Bye.